In this video, I'm going to show you how to record audio for a podcast, for a voiceover, for whatever audio purposes you need inside GarageBand. Now, GarageBand is a nice little tool for free on any Mac. Uh, it can be used to record really easily. Not the best for simple audio editing, for example. I'd usually do that in Audacity, but right now, maybe not in future, but right now Audacity is broken on Mac. So a lot of people are using GarageBand to record and then bringing it into Audacity for editing. But of course, there's plenty other editing packages out there too. Let's have a quick look though. Nice new, new project, empty project. Let's choose that to get it started up. Now, first thing is, we want to make sure we're using a microphone. Obviously, GarageBand designed for music as well, but we want mic. And we want to make sure the right mic is selected down here. So my instrument is connected with Rode Podcaster 2. So that's the right one for me. But it might be that that was on built-in mic, for example. It could show that before. So if it comes up with something like that and you have a USB mic plugged in, you want to go in there, make sure you have the right USB mic selected so that you're not accidentally recording with the inbuilt microphone. But that's all you need to do. Then we'll kind of click, uh, click create for a new project. So what do we do in here? There's a couple of controls, pretty simple, so we don't need to do too much. Uh, first thing, I'm going to turn off the metronome because that'll click when we record if I use that. Um, we don't need any of these tools on. Now we can see at least that the microphone is picking up our audio. You can see this volume indicator here popping up and down, showing us uh, we're on about the right level there, sort of two thirds up the scale. That tends to be what we aim for to give us a good bit of room if we go louder, you know, laughing, um, any of the sort of louder exclamations, um, give a bit of headroom there. You can change the recording levels down here. You can see that I've got it set on full right now. The, the Rode Podcaster tends to need a fair bit of gain to make sure it picks up okay. So it's on full. But if you find that your USB mic or your input needs a little bit, uh, it's going up into the red, you know, it's hitting the top quite a lot. You can bring that down just by adjusting the volume control here. You can see now that that green is going a lot lower. So I'm going to bring that back up to the top. I wouldn't recommend using the automatic level control because that will, you know, if you start doing a quieter bit or a louder bit, it will adjust it for you and it kind of ruins the, uh, the dynamic range of your recording. Again here, you can uh, double check that you've got the right microphone selected. I'm definitely on Rode Podcaster here. But from there, all we're going to do now is record. Hit the record button here and you can see that it's picking up the wave in the center here. So I can see my voice being picked up. I can see my voice being captured. And that's a good thing. That means the recording is working well. So from there, uh, I can click stop again. So that's to stop it. Uh, stop the recording, stopped right when I click the record button again, or you can click the stop button too, of course. And that means we've now got our voice here. So that's our voice clip right here. So next step is to export this file for editing, of course, because we're going to edit it elsewhere, whether that's a free tool like Audacity, whether it's something a bit more pro like Adobe Audition, or whether it's something like our podcast maker app, Alitu, A-L-I-T-U dot com, which can help you edit things, uh, edit podcasts super easily, doing all the noise reduction for you. For that, I'm going to go up to the share menu. Now, I know you can't see that. It's off the top of the screen, but in the GarageBand menu, you've got share. And if we scroll down, we've got export song to disc and that's going to give us the right options. So go in here. Uh, what we want, if we're going to go into editing, we want to keep the file as good quality as we can. So we're going to use a WAV file. Obviously, you'd use MP3 for exporting to, uh, to publish the podcast. But for now, we're going to use WAV file because that means that it keeps it top quality. CD quality is fine. And that lets us save it. So my podcast recording. And I would just put that in um, my folder here. Export that there. And that's now saved off. So just remember where you've saved it to. And then you can bring that into Audacity, into Alitu, into Adobe Audition, whatever it is you're using to edit. So that is recording in GarageBand. Please do check out our site if you want more podcasting tips over at thepodcasthost.com. 
Com or check out Alitu if you are recording and you want a simple way to record because Alitu can record as well. You can record direct in solo clips on your own um, into Alitu, A-L-I-T-U dot com. And if you do that, then we'll do all the noise reduction for, for you, all the cleanup. We'll add your music for you, put the theme music in there and it can publish it direct to your podcast host as well. Uh, and it also offers a custom podcast editing package in there. Uh, so you can actually edit out your mistakes, trim the files, all that kind of stuff. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Hope that gave you a good idea on how to record in GarageBand. I'll see you on a future video.